Good evening and welcome to our 44th graduation ceremony. My name is Drew Mons and I'm proud to be the principal of Apple Valley High School. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of Apple Valley High School, I would like to welcome you to our annual commencement ceremony. AVHS is a STEM school dedicated to academics, arts, and athletics. As I like to say, learning looks different at Apple Valley High School, and over the course of our program, you will see how these values are emphasized as a foundation of who we are as a school community. It is also worth noting that this year, the graduation ceremony looks different at AVHS as well. As some of you may know, last year marked the first graduation ceremony since 2001 that AVHS celebrated commencement outdoors. This year, we are far too aware that the third trimester of 2020 marks a number of unexpected firsts, including the first virtual commencement ceremony in AVHS's storied history. Although we are physically distant from each other tonight, in some ways we are more connected than before as we come together to honor the class of 2020 by broadcasting the ceremony to homes across neighborhoods, cities, states, and even across the globe. Part of the storied history I mentioned in Apple Valley's long tradition of success in arts, activities, and athletics, each year during the graduation ceremony, we take a moment to recognize some of the previous year's successes. Our girls swimming team qualified four swimmers to the state tournament, and we had one member of our boys team qualify for state in diving. Additionally, one of our girls swimmers was named all state. In wrestling, we had one individual wrestler qualify for the state tournament and be named to the All-State team. Our PI Adapted Floor Hockey Team, the Dakota Hawks, qualified for the state tournament, and our PI Adapted Soccer Team won the state championship. In our robotics program, the Iron Maidens FTC team once again qualified to compete, not only at the state tournament level, but also the FTC World Championships. Our Emmy Award-winning high school media program, Eagle Eye, brought home eight awards from the Upper Midwest Natus Student Television Production Awards. Also, Eagle Media Crew worked hard to bring multiple athletic, arts, and activities events to our community. The speech and debate team had 20 qualifications to three major national speech and debate tournaments, including five national finalists at the first of these tournaments in April. The team will be competing in the online NSDA national tournament in June. The mock trial team ranked second in state after advancing to the state championship round for the second year in a row. The team also ranked ninth nationally at the Empire Mock Trial World Championships in New York City. In our theater program, our one-act play, The Revolutionists, won our third consecutive section championship and as a result was chosen to perform at the annual state one-act play festival. The cast and crew were recognized with a starred rating the highest award given at the festival. In the instrumental music, eight musicians were named to all state bands, and in vocal music, four singers were named to all state choirs. Overall, AVHS is one of two schools in Minnesota history to win over 100 state championships, and there are over 500 high schools in Minnesota. AVHS ranks number one in Minnesota history in combined arts and athletic state championships. I always enjoy talking about the accomplishments of Apple Valley High School students. Class of 2020, this has certainly been an interesting year. Whether tonight marks the end of your fourth year as a student or your first year as principal, it's safe to say that we've learned a lot about ourselves and others. The class of 2020 will always have a special place in my heart. You were my first graduating class. You welcomed me into this community as a stranger and now I feel a special connection with you at the end of the school year. I thought long and hard about what I want to share, and I set two goals for myself. Don't minimize the impact of this time, and don't let the last three months be the only thing that defines your school experience. I hope you are proud of yourselves, and that you know that we couldn't be more proud of who you've become. And no, this didn't just happen overnight. You see, 13 years ago, you started practicing an incredibly important skill that isn't a given these days. You showed up. Day after day, you made sure that you showed up for yourself and others. Sometimes, showing up might have been going through the motions. Other times, you had to show up and face struggles that no one knew. There were also times that you showed up to honor your families because you knew how hard they'd work for you. You awed us by your sharing your talents and passions that made you feel alive and inspired us to tears. 
time after time, you found strength that you may not have known was there. And you used that strength to show up because it mattered to a friend who needed you. Knowing how to show up really paid off because just as you were looking forward to spring and the final trimester, a global health pandemic came and the game changed in a moment. I want you to think back to Thursday, March 12th. Though Thursday wasn't actually our last day together, I think it was one of the most important days. This was the day that rumors were running rampant through schools, including our own. When we chose to show up on Friday the 13th, no one knew what was coming next, but we knew it mattered to show up and be together. But that was it. We never got a chance to go back and it felt like everything changed, because it did. Now you were asked to show up, but not to the building that you knew so well. Now you were asked to show up for e-learning, which quickly became distance learning, which really was emergency remote learning. Remember the days when you didn't know what a Zoom call was? When you didn't remember your Schoology password? The world turned inside out and invited you to quit, but you kept showing up. Thankfully, you weren't alone. Others showed up for you and returned the favor. Your family members relearned where a semicolon goes and Googled what is a parabola to help you. Teachers and students began firing up 3D printers in the fab lab and at home to provide 3,000 face shields for critical care workers. Hundreds of hotspots and hundreds of thousands of meals were distributed to those that needed it most. When times got tough and we were physically apart, you showed up for one another to fill the gaps. Yes, people stepped up for people that they knew and loved, but you also did this for complete strangers. This pandemic shone a bright light on the inequities of the world and of our local community. Though this is the first global health pandemic for almost everyone here tonight, rising to meet dawning challenges isn't new for our country. If you look back, you will see that Americans have a special talent for showing up for others in challenging and good times. Your ability to show up mattered when COVID-19 first appeared in our community over two months ago and continues to matter and be tested in the last two weeks following the horrific killing of George Floyd. I would like to take a moment here to name the pain and grief in our community. I would like to name the sorrow and anxiety and fear that many of you have at this time. I would also like to name the hope and joy that you have brought to our school community. I'm hesitant to place the world's burdens on your shoulders. However, if I did, I would be immensely confident that this group amongst us is up to the challenge because you have displayed the heart, the determination, the persistence, the courage, and the love. So now I'm turning to you. I want everyone to take a breath and think. How do I want to show up? How is the world calling me to show up for my family, my community, and my future? I'll leave you with that as I express my thank you for all that you have done for our community. And thank you for being there, for showing up here at Apple Valley High School. And now at this time, I'd like to welcome senior Whitney Chung, who will present the graduate message this year. Before I begin, I'd like to apologize to my parents because I didn't tell them I was doing this. Anyway, to the class of 2020, family, friends, AV just staff, boomers, and Mr. Melton. Hi. Today is a day of celebrating success. We have finally learned how to use Google Drive and Schoology effectively after too many years to count. Nice work. We have successfully struggled through the endless wave of boredom within these past few months. Keep it up. We have also successfully made it to our high school graduation. Congrats. I want to thank Mr. Mons, Mr. Bosoni, the AVHS faculty and staff, and most importantly, our teachers for helping us get to where we are now. And for dealing with our um, uniqueness. Thank you. I would like to take this moment to also thank our parents and guardians because if you were anything like my mom, you forced your children to actually crawl out of bed before the sun rose and maybe possibly walk to school in freezing rain when it was only 40 degrees outside. Without your encouragement, 
we definitely would not have received the amazing education we got while at Apple Valley. Thank you. The class of 2020 is, by far, the most impressive class to ever graduate from AVHS. Impressive in which way? I will leave to your interpretation. We have classmates going to schools from coast to coast, majoring in things from journalism to chemical engineering. We have students going straight into the workforce, and we have students on the path to serve this place we call home. We will have students all over the world trying to understand their identity. So, the real question is, who are we as the class of 2020? We will forever be known as the Corona class, because Corona really messed up our lives, and more importantly, our senior year. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be known as the graduating class of Corona. That just doesn't sound as grand as we actually are. So, in my brief time today, that is going to be my focus. Who are we as the class of 2020, and how is it we can make the most of our mistakes? When we were five years old, we were asked, who do you want to be when you grow up? We replied with things like an astronaut, a princess, the ruler of the world, or in my case, a teacher. I thought I would do a great job educating little people. And I also thought I was the smartest kid in my kindergarten class. When we were 10, we got asked that same question. Who do you want to be when you grow up? Now, we had a little more interesting things to say. A chef, a plumber, an actress. But I wanted to be a food scientist. I thought, since I love food and I love science, if I put the two words together, my life would be great. Plus, it sounded cool when I told my friends. When we entered high school, we were asked that question one more time. Who do you want to be when you grow up? This was when I heard some realistic answers. There were many I don't knows and something that'll make me rich, like a lawyer or a doctor, since money is the only thing freshmen care about, apparently. However, I wanted to be a film director. I loved the feeling of being behind a camera. On September 3rd, 2019, we walked into AVHS as seniors. Finally! Only 277 more days until we graduate. However, the biggest struggle then was college applications. I knew classmates who were already getting acceptance letters, and I knew classmates who had no idea where to apply. I was more so the latter than the former. I struggled with finding schools that followed career paths that interested me. My thinking process went like this. <clears throat> Do you want to be a teacher? Nah, you don't work well with kids. Do you want to be a food scientist? No. Despite the two essays you've written and the numerous podcasts you've listened to, you still don't understand what something is organic or non-GMO besides it being a label to increase the price. What about a film director? Um, sis, you aren't very assertive. Two days later, I found myself struggling to ask my math teacher if I could go to the bathroom. So, what did I want to do after high school? I'm sure I was not the only one who pondered this on a daily basis. We have spent so much of our lives asking ourselves who we wanted to be when we grew up, but do we ever wonder about who we are right now? All throughout high school, we tried on different faces. Some of us wanted to know what it felt like to be a scholar, a sports captain, a choir kid, a band nerd, a couch potato. We tried on different veils. Some worked out, but most probably didn't. That's okay. Because above all else, we became masters at one thing, making mistakes. That is what high school is for. It wasn't the time to make fast and permanent decisions. It was the time to enjoy ourselves. It was the time to mess up and move on. During quarantine, I finally had the time to do some self-reflecting. I realized that I messed up this whole high school thing. I entered freshman year with dreams of <clears throat> maintaining a 4.0, that didn't happen. Getting a boyfriend, that didn't happen. Not procrastinating or making a terrible sleep schedule, <laughs> that didn't happen. And finally, understanding who I am as a person, guess what, that also didn't happen. For the sake of this speech, I will focus on dream number four since dreams one through three are irrelevant. Who am I? I thought it would be a good idea to follow other people's footsteps. At first, I started to follow the path my brother paved. He was smart and seemed to know what he was doing, so why not? When I saw how dorky he turned out, I quickly switched gears and jumped on the path my sister had made. She was 10 times cooler and seemed way more successful. However, I quickly realized that my sister wasn't that cool and suddenly I was back to where I started. 
So I jumped from path to path, hoping to find what I liked and could follow. At one point, I found myself stumbling across an intersection with more than five different trails. That was the moment I finally understood what high school was all about. When I couldn't decide which path I wanted to follow, I made the decision to make my own. That is what high school is about, paving your own path. When you begin to create your own path, you will end up lost in the forest. At the end of the day, you're by yourself, you're scared, you feel like no one is there for you. You think you're screwed. That's what life does to teenagers. It makes you feel so alone and insecure that you begin to have dark thoughts, but you keep moving. Sure, life will make you walk up and down mountains, but you keep walking. The dark evils of life might play some holes in your way, hoping you fall and sprain your ankle. So what? Just get back up and keep going. Yeah, it'll hurt, but that's what ice is for. You learned about perseverance. When everything feels peaceful and you're just strolling along, having dandy old time, that's when all of a sudden, boom, now there's a tree in the way. But don't just sit there and cry for your mommy to show up, no. Don't chop down the tree either, that's bad for the environment and someone could sue you for that. Instead, I want you to look at that tree. Look at it up and down, look at it from different angles. Then, take a deep breath and calmly walk around the tree. That's when you'll feel stupid because you spent over a day stressing about why life could be so cruel and plant the tree in the middle of your path. But that doesn't matter anymore. You moved on. You learned to be a problem solver. If you're extra special, life might plop a bear in your way in hopes to scare you and make you curl up in the fetal position for the next week. If that happens, I want you to plant your feet like that tree and look at that bear dead in the eyes only to say one word, move. And then pray the bear doesn't kill you because if you actually find yourself face to face with a bear, that is definitely something you should not do. Nonetheless, you learned to say no. You learned how to stand up for yourself even if you were shaking the whole time. On this path you're creating, you might hit a dead end. Then you say to yourself, dang, I should have went east instead of west at that stupid tree. I made a mistake. The only thing you can do now is just back up and keep going. This will happen again and again until your feet are throbbing and you mutter nothing is going right anymore. So go left. You made the mistake of being single-minded, so what? We all do it. You're making your own path, trying to figure out who the heck you really are. There's nothing wrong with that. Embrace your mistakes. Make as many mistakes as you can because someday someone will ask you that one question we've all grown to hate. Who do you wanna be when you grow up? And when that time comes, you'll know. You'll know it because you've made mistakes and moved on. You've tried different who's and most probably didn't work, but that's okay. You may not know who you are now, but you definitely know who you are not. We are still paving our own paths. Whether it's going up the mountain or hiking in the forest, our trail doesn't really end. We just get weaker and weaker until we find ourselves in a nursing home, surrounded by friends with different stories, and you're laughing about all the times you fell in a hole or cried in the rain or got beat up by that bear. Ladies and gentlemen, that is who we are. We are the writers of our own story, not our neighbors, not our best friends. Although I cannot see you in front of me at this very moment, I know our paths have crossed. Each one of us comes from different backgrounds. Each one of us will have different futures and each one of us has made many mistakes. But there's one thing our trails all have in common, Apple Valley High School. We all have the same chapter engraved into our stories, just told in different narratives. More or less, Apple Valley will always be Apple Valley. And there's anything I learned from my high school experience is that once you become an eagle, you will always be an eagle. We basically have the so-called American dream coursing through our veins. We can be entrepreneurs. We can be engineers. We can be parents. We can be volunteers. We can be kind. We can be smart. We can be anyone because we are eagles. Thank you, Whitney. Whitney has been a member of the Percussion Ensemble National Honor Society and has served as captain for AVHS's math and science Olympiad teams. She will attend the University of Minnesota next fall, where she plans to study mechanical engineering and mathematics. Traditionally at graduation, we are joined by staff from district office and elected members of our school board. 
Our next speaker is Clerk of District 196 School Board, Mr. Sachin Isaacs. Congratulations to the District 196 graduating class of 2020. A special thank you to the teachers, the staff, family, friends, loved ones, and all those who have supported our graduates in their journey. My name is Sachin Isaacs, and I have the privilege of serving you on the District 196 School Board. Graduates, I share your disappointment as this isn't the closure that we had hoped for. Being robbed of the opportunity to celebrate this incredible milestone with you in person, to say a proper goodbye, and to not know when this is going to end is truly heartbreaking. And yet, you have risen through all of this with the strength of your character and the resiliency of your spirit. You enter a world that is searching for a new normal. Let this moment inspire you to be the ones who define it. Let this moment inspire you to blaze a path that is aligned with your passion and your talents. This world is now more malleable than it ever has been. And you are what is most needed to help shape it and define it. I believe in you. We all believe in you. Congratulations to all your successes thus far and all my very best as you pursue your future potential. Thank you so much to Mr. Isaacs for your support of Apple Valley High School and for taking the time to join us for this celebration. We will be mailing a copy of the program and student diplomas in the weeks to come. You will see both in the printed program as well as our slides tonight that every year at graduation we recognize those members of the graduating class who achieved academic success with top grades, challenging coursework, or recognition by honor societies. These students earn the right to wear certain regalia in recognition of these accomplishments. Students, if you received any regalia with your cap and gown, we invite you to wear it any time you don your cap and gown for photo opportunities in the days ahead. This year, in line with graduation honors policies of District 196, we will recognize graduates with the following honors. Summa cum laude, graduates wear white honor cords. These students represent the 90th percentile of the graduating class. Magna cum laude graduates wear gold honor cords. These students represent the 80th percentile of the graduating class. Cum laude graduates wear brown honor cords. These students represent the 70th percentile of the graduates. Our graduates with honors wear a gold stole. These students challenge themselves with course load of honors, AP, and CIS classes. Our students graduating with honors earned at least 24 trimester credits in these classes, a pace of at least two each trimester throughout their academic careers. Members of the National Honor Society wear all gold tassels. Members of the National Art Honor Society wear rainbow colored tassels. Members of the National Speech and Debate Honor Program wear ruby and silver cords. The District 196 American Indian Education Program scholars wear white stoles. And our AVID seniors are wearing cords of gold, blue, and white. These are the colors of the AVID program. We'd also like to take a moment to recognize those members of the graduating class who participated in our E3 STEM program. I'd like to take one more moment to recognize those members of the class of 2020 who plan to serve our country as members of our nation's armed forces. Thank you to these seniors. And now, by the authority vested in me by the State of Minnesota and the Board of Education of School District 196, I am honored to recognize and present the class of 2020. 
Class of 2020, your tassel should be on the right side of your cap. After you see your name and photo appear, you may move your tassel to the left side to signify your new status as a high school graduate. This video presentation of the Class of 2020 will be accompanied by music performed by Apple Valley High School musicians.
The class of 2020 is a very special class. You have distinguished yourself by your individual academic accomplishments and co-curricular successes. Great communities are built on the foundation of great schools, and we are very proud of your accomplishments. An Apple Valley graduation tradition is the singing of the Apple Valley alma mater. Please turn your attention now to Vocal Music Student of the Year, Christina Munson, as she performs the Apple Valley alma mater. Thank you to Christina and Mr. Beyer. The members of the Apple Valley High School Performing Arts Department collaborated with one another to create a virtual performance to celebrate all they learned and worked on through the year. This piece of music from the musical Dear Evan Hansen held special significance for these students as the lyrics represent that while they may have been physically separated as they collaborated, they were indeed not alone. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear? So let the lonely feeling wash away Cause maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay Cause when you don't feel strong enough to stand You can reach, reach out your hand And
Thank you to Mr. Beyer, Ms. Blatzheim, Mr. Dazens, Mr. Larson, Mr. Scalise, and the members of the AVHS Performing Arts Department for putting together that performance. It was very appropriate to the moment, and we appreciated having your artistry to be part of this ceremony. Class of 2020, take a look around and see all the family that are celebrating with you. Make sure to take a moment to thank the family members who have been there for you. I also want to encourage you to thank the many educators and staff who have provided support and dedicated many hours to helping you learn and grow as an individual to be prepared to make a difference in the world around you. On behalf of the faculty and administration of AVHS, I would like to offer our congratulations and best wishes to each of you for a very successful and happy future. Seniors, this is the moment. If you've got that hat, go ahead and toss it in the air. You've made it. This concludes the graduation ceremony for the class of 2020. Thank you to all of you for joining us tonight and honoring our students. Take care, be well, and go Eagles. Class of 2020, the English department has a message for you. Oh, the places you'll go. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know and you are the one who'll decide where to go. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care, and some of you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there, in the wide open air. Out there, things can happen, and frequently do, to people as brainy and footsy as you. And then things start to happen. Don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along, and you'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact and remember that life's a great balancing act. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and three quarters percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. So be your name Buxbaum or Bixby or Bray or Mordecai Alley Van Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. Congratulations, class of 2020. Metaphors be with you. Go. <laughs> Congratulations to the class of 2020, one that hardly even seemed real and had an odd ending. We wish we had the power to change the way things are, but the factors just won't bend. It's hard to function working at home and not be in our learning domain at school. The root of the problem is beyond our control. So let's focus on the positive and stay cool. Some of you loved our classes and enjoyed adding math knowledge each and every day. 
Others have a difference in opinion and would have preferred to subtract math out of the way. We know you may find us irrational to spend the greater part of our day only focused on math. Let's get to the point. We mean sincerely. We want you to go the distance and succeed on your path. The common denominator that all teachers share is that we love seeing you every day. You are an integral part of our lives, but as your senior year closes, it is time to go on your way. If our paths don't cross again, we wish you the best and hope that you have a happy end behavior. Goodbyes are hard, especially from afar, so let us just say calculator. Congratulations! Congratulations, Class of 2020! I'm glad we're doing this today because this is my day to shave. <laughs> <laughs> well, who's starting? Do we? Do you, do you want to take this and edit it with Arlene's message from before that she recorded, or should Arlene just record it here now? with us in the room waiting. Yeah, we're all like, yeah. <laughs> or something like that. Just give us a give us the outro when we're done, you know? Walk us out. Here we go. Three, two. <laughs> I vote that uh, somebody just starts talking and then the rest of us wave. And... Yeah. Maybe, Arlene, maybe you want to just say what you said and then we can all wave. That would be nice. That'd be great. That'll work just fine. Yep. Love it. Okay. All right, ready? Carly, and just say we all we all miss you. Hope you you know have a great summer, and then we'll just all wave and we're out. Yep. Or even you know just ending with stay strong or something. You know. Stay safe. Okay. Here we go. Hello, class of 2020. We miss interacting with all of you, and as we say goodbye, we wish you the best in your new adventure. Be hopeful. Be brave. Have fun, and most of all, be you. Good luck. Good luck. There you go. <laughs> That's perfect. I almost feel like I was going to give the Spock sign. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Little lion prosper. in the blue That's good. Hey, class of uh, 2020 seniors, this is the science department. Uh, we are missing you and missing seeing you and know that this spring has been very difficult. Lots of things that you would have done and look forward to um, you can enjoy and senioritis is proud more of a challenge. As a science department, we want to say we had a great time having you in class and sharing experiences with you and experiments and labs and field trips and seeing things were great and we enjoyed those. We hope that as you move on the rest of your life, that as at least as a science department, we have encouraged you to use your science knowledge to help make better decisions. We also hope that as you are a continual learner in the rest of your life, you always appreciate science, whether it be outside, whether it be in the research field, but observe things. Science will always be with you no matter what you do, whether you're a hunter or a fisherman or a rock hunter or a climber, you'll always have science there around you. You might even get stuck in a thunderstorm. So science will always be around you. Again, from the science department, congratulations. You've made a great accomplishment. We're gonna remind you that not everyone graduates from high school. We're proud that you are. Great job from the science department.
Okay, uh, congratulations, class of 2020. Sorry you guys went out on kind of a very unique note, but we wish you the best of luck, and we are sure that in the long run, you will be better and a stronger person for this. So congratulations, and we'll see you down the road. Good luck. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings to the class of 2020. Congratulations on your graduation. It's been so fun to get to know you over these last four years. As you know, Apple Valley is a STEM school dedicated to academics, arts, and athletics. And for all of us, it's been so fun to see you grow as artists in all of your concerts and performances. We're so excited to see the impact that that had for you and the impact that the class of 2020 is going to have on the world. Please come back and visit. Come back and say hello. We want to know what you're up to and what you're doing. And we're going to miss you very, very much. And remember, keep dancing, keep playing, and keep singing. Congratulations. See you all later. The World Language Department would like to say congratulations to the class of 2020. Felicidades! Enhorabuena! Herzliche Glückwünsche! Gozozugyo, omedetou gozaimasu! Felicitation! E bon travail! Woo! To our seniors class of 2020, from the art, facts, tech ed, and STEM departments, we are wishing you all the best for your bright futures. Be strong, be safe, keep pushing forward, and be encouraged. Strive for your success. We miss you and love you. Yay! Yay. Senior, fly like an eagle. Fly proud and free. Fly like the strong Apple Valley Eagle. Let this message carry thee. Senior, fly like an eagle. It is your time, you see. Be your own 2020 revolution. Now you know you all have the power to be. Get out there and become a solution. Because we know how amazing you all are. Soar 2020 eagles into your bright future. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are all so very proud of you. Hello, Apple Valley seniors, class of 2020. The Apple Valley Student Services Office wanna say congratulations on a job well done. We are excited for you and for your future. Good job, congratulations.